All right, hey there fashion friends. So today we are talking about another 30 day jean review. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Yes, that is right. I have worn another pair of jeans for 30 days straight, every day, all day, for the sake of a thorough review to share with you guys. Why do I keep doing these 30 day review videos for jeans? So that if you are deciding to buy a new pair of jeans, that you are buying a pair that you're going to hold on to for a really, really long time. Buying a pair of jeans really should not be a fleeting purchase. It should be something that you're investing in, that you're taking time to research and to really have that patience to make sure that you are getting the best fit, the best quality, the best jean for you specifically to love, 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 love for a very long period of time. I do talk about jeans a lot on this channel. I share a lot of different jeans, but it is never my intention for you guys to actually buy every single pair of jeans that I'm talking about. My only intention is to share as many different options with you guys as possible, different sort of brands, different fits, so that you have choices and can make the best decision that works for you when it comes to investing in a pair of jeans jeans. Okay, so with that, let's get into it, you guys. Let's talk about the pair of jeans that I wore for 30 days. And that pair of jeans is by Mousy Vintage. This is not a sponsored video. However, Mousy Vintage did gift, gift, blah, blah, gift me these pair of jeans so that I was able to do this review here for you guys today. Okay, so the style of jeans that I chose is the Mosky Tapered High Waisted Jeans. These retail for $350. So for today, we will be looking at the initial reaction as well as the reaction to after wearing these for 30 days for the fit, fabric, and function. Of course, gotta have that fit, fabric, and function. Okay, so today we are actually going to start off with fabric. So the fabric is 100% cotton in a blue wash. These are made in Japan with eco-friendly dyeing methods, as well as that having an OCO environmental and ecological safety certification. So my initial reaction to these jeans, this, was love at first touch. The tightness in the weave of the denim, yet so soft to touch. The strength in the stitching had such lovely craftsmanship. I already loved the wash before I got these jeans, so when I received them, I was super happy. So after 30 days, what did I think? Well. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is out to be my lady only. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is out to be my lady only. There was no give in the stitching or the wash, but I did actually not wash these at all. I didn't wash these even once. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm someone that believes that you don't need to wash jeans. Yeah. And even though these jeans were already soft when I received them initially, they basically continued to break into my body shape for a more personalized fit and as well as that giving them an even more authentic vintage vibe. I loved the distressing in the blue wash of the denim. It had very authentic whiskering up in the hips area, and as well as that had the really nice distressing down the middle. But again, all being very authentic, not looking fake. Okay, so fit. These are a size 
27. I am originally a size 26. Did have to size up because the 26 was just a little too tight. These do have an inseam of 28 inches, which I love, which is like the perfect inseam for my leg length, hitting me right at the ankle. So my initial reaction to the fit is that when I first put these on, I was a little bit disappointed because the waist was quite roomy. There was a lot of room in the waist. However, it was very slim in the hips. So this ultimately boxed me up quite a bit and me being a rectangle body shape, yeah, I was a little bit insecure with that fit initially. Right away, the jeans were very comfortable. They didn't feel stiff. I didn't have to break them in. And initially I fell right in love with the tapered leg. It just kind of added a little bit of edge and a little bit of elongating to the leg. So very flattering fit all around. Okay, so how did I feel about the fit after 30 days? So I still didn't like the fact that the waist was a little bit big, but I did figure out that I could just wear a belt when I wanted to cinch in that waist. And for everyday use, it was really comfortable to have that bit of room in the waist. The integrity of the fit was still there after wearing these 30 days all day, every day, which I think is one of the most important tests when it comes to denim. So bold statement, my husband actually said that these may be one of his favorite pair of jeans that I've ever had. Yeah, all right. So why he likes these jeans on me so much is he says that he really likes the way that they fit in the hips and that they're not super high-waisted. He's not a fan of high-waisted jeans. He also said that he likes the tapering in the cut of the jeans. He says, and I quote, it makes them look different and cool. Okay, and last but not least, my favorite, function. This is speaking to the sort of everyday styling aspect. So my initial reaction to the function was, yeah, I was a little hesitant because of that looser fit in the waist. For me, I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna style, you know, my go-to everyday look of tight jeans and a t-shirt. And then I also really liked that it was a 28 inch inseam with a tapered leg that I could still do a little bit of a cuff at the bottom if I wanted to, or just leave it down, which would enable me to be able to style these with different heights of shoes. So having a lot more options shoe-wise. Okay, so after 30 days, how did I feel about the function? Well, More comfortable with styling these jeans. So I found that the jeans were actually a lot more diverse than I had initially thought they would be. I could tuck a shirt in without a belt and just have that sort of relaxed, effortless look. If I wanted that tighter waistline, I'd just style it with a tight, high-waisted belt. or even stepped further out of my comfort zone and wearing things that were a little bit longer in length, uh, not tucked in and hitting me right at that hip line. Uh, yeah, I don't really do this very often, but I think because of the tapered cut of these jeans, the tapered silhouette of these jeans, it works because it still kind of elongates and gives you that dimension. In conclusion, after wearing these jeans for 30 days, would I suggest these jeans to my friends? And the answer is 
yes, all around for the reason that yes, these jeans are a little bit more expensive, but with that price tag comes really good quality, really con good construction that will wear really well over time. And they'll just get better with age. Also with that, I love the style of these being very timeless, but just having a little bit of a stylistic edge to just you know, elevate the jeans a little bit more so that they're not just your basic pair of jeans. All right, you guys. So yeah, I will make sure to link everything below. And there you go. I hope that today's episode was helpful. If so, you know what I'm gonna ask. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. If you're already subscribed, make sure you're clicking that bell to be notified when I am posting my new episodes. All of this really, really helps me to break through that algorithm and get out into the world in front of more people. I hope that you are staying safe, staying healthy, loving and supporting each other because these times are crazy. You have a lovely rest of your day and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.